Hey kids, the program you're about to listen to contains some adult situations, adult language, themes, and other adult topics. If you're easily offended, this show's not for you. Hey, do you need a little more slide in your glide? Are you starting to stick it in and it's going ee, 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 ee? If so, visit our good friends at Spunk Lube. That's right, Spunk Lube, the lube that'll keep you sliding and gliding. Visit them at www.spunklube.com. And hey, you've always got a friend in Casba. Put Casba in the coupon code and get 10% off every one of your orders. Hey, you crazy motherfuckers. Welcome back to another edition of Crazy Truth. I had to think what the fuck we were doing. Uh, I am the host with the most. I am Cole. Dick with arms, and this is the lovely, lovely Miss Amanda. Hey! <laughs> All of a sudden, he turned up the hear, the, the earphones. I'm like, you're like, what are we doing? Ah! <laughs> Why do we have to blast my ears out? <laughs> so we're back again with another edition. This would be uh, episode tray That would be right. Now we, we got to change that because it screws up the number counts on all of our podcast stuff. To say we're supposed to like keep counting per episode. So we got to change how to do that. But regardless, for those of you listening, it is our third episode of the second season because, yes, yes, we have been renewed. So you are stuck with us for another 52 times. You need to listen to my shit babble. Ah, what could possibly go wrong? So, hey, we're trying all kinds of new equipment here today. So those of you that are not watching this live, uh, I have a lapel mic on. I feel so important. I got mic'd up. I have staff. <laughs> this is awesome. I have fucking staff. Anyways, okay, so you know how we usually start to start the show? Uh, we usually start it with uh, with weird sex news, right? Right. Okay, now here's the thing. Now, this, normally we start with funny sex news. Okay, I, I'm going to take like a serious tone here on this one because this one actually blew my mind when I read this uh, this week, but this just shows, look, vanilla people think we're the fucking sick, twisted motherfuckers out here. Uh, there was a story today or the other day uh, of a young lady. She has been in a coma for 14 years, and she just gave birth. Uh, this came out of California. That's right. What it was, she's been in a long-term care facility, and she had been raped. Now, I only bring this up because this is not a funny story. There's nothing to laugh, giggle. There's not a joke to make about this. But I'm telling you what. When we go out here in the world today, and we're afraid to, that, oh, no, what if our neighbors know we like to have sex with other people's spouses, or uh, we like to be like bondaged or tied up or whatever the case may be, you know what? Don't be afraid to let your freak flag fly. Because I'll tell you what, I'd much rather be known as a swinger. Hey, look, hey, 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 there's the neighbors that's a swinger than some sick motherfucker that would rape a fucking someone in that sort of condition. So, you know, it's not a funny sex story, but just put it out there. Look, don't ever think you're the craziest, weirdest motherfucker. We're not sick. We have a hobby. There's a huge difference. It's a hobby. It's a, ho- it's a hobby. It's like go oh find a hobby. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. <laughs> go find a hobby. It just right. to be sex. <laughs> what, what, what should we do today, Pinky? Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Speaking of, of hobbies and sex, we, we got, you know, the second half sponsor of the show, we'll be talking about them later. Uh, that's all about hobbies. That's about our hobby. The, the sex part. <laughs> okay. You, you remember what that is? What's the second half sponsor of the show? Well, I know it's crazy. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Uh, so for those of you we're going to start with the don't know, obviously we do this live as well from our huge Facebook audience, our, our secret Facebook page, Crazy Casbas. So we'll be taking questions from them t- this evening as we go, as well as our regular written in questions and uh, stuff that's going on. The sound guy's just being loud as fuck over there. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Okay, did Starting you see what glare. Bill read what Bill put on that same story? Uh, the crazy thing, okay, so Bill put on that uh, that crazy story. The crazy thing is that, that the nursing staff at the home didn't know she was pregnant until she started moaning from being in labor. Wow. You know what? There's a double whammy out there. Are you fucking kidding me? How old was this lady? Uh, she, she was like in her, she was in her 40s. She's been in a coma for like 14 years. Oh. I, it's just like, yeah, what a fucking, uh, I'm telling you what, take care of your, take care of your loved ones, uh, and, 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 you know, so they can be in good quality facilities with that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, so, anyway, so we have a large Facebook well, they'll page. they'll at least be able to do DNA tests and find out. Fuck yeah, they will be. <laughs> That's about the goddamn truth. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> here's the thing, so we, now, we are a large Facebook group, uh, Crazy Casba. So, Okay, we're going to do something really, really different tonight. <gasps> Ooh, okay? We're doing something different. We're going to do something totally different tonight. I don't like change. <laughs> change is wrong. 
Ooh, there's a different dick. Mm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. And right now, this is going to spread on our page like wildfire. Oh, God. Okay, so there has been, for the Drum last queen. eight years, for the last eight years, there has been a constant, constant rumor and wonder. And even those of you that listen to our podcast, if you are part of the Crazy Truth uh, webpage, or you're oh, part of... Oh, she was 29. Oh, she was 29. Okay. Or if, you, or if you're part of the the CASBA... Uh, the CASBA... Uh, uh, YouTube channel. The question has been constantly, what is CASBA? Everybody wants to know what is CASBA. And so here's the thing. Now, there's a handful of people. Now, look, if you're one of the people listening, what the hell am I glad to Sweet. What the hell? If you're one of the people listening right now and you're one of the very few, and there is a select, select few that know what CASBA actually means, do not come on and put it on there, fuckers. Okay, so we'll we'll give the story of what Casba. So that's what we're going to talk about. What does Casba actually mean? Cole, Amanda, sex, body, honor. <laughs> okay. I came up with that. I was like, I was really trying to ponder it. Going, what can I put? Here's the best part. Here's the best part about this. For eight years, we've had people guessing shit. Uh-huh. And they've had some great ones. Uh, one of the guys listening right now because he wants to fuck you really bad at Crazy Winter Nights. Andy, uh, he had said it. It is Cole. Uh, how do you put it? Cole, Andy should bang her. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, that's pretty original one. Uh, we've got people that, that friends of ours that they know us for a long time think it's Cole, Amanda, Todd Bones, uh, and his yeah. last name. Yeah. <laughs> Close, but not really. We, we, okay. so oh, no oh, oh, wait, okay, here we're getting ones right now. Uh, oh, Andy, he yeah, repeated sexy, it before, Andy should bang her. Yeah. I like that one. Uh, Leon, Leon put kinky ass, sexy booty helmet. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I actually like that one. <laughs> so, you, come up hey, with you, that know, one. you know what's great? What? Before the night's over, we may have a new what it means. We, there may, you we go. may pick a really good one. If somebody comes up with a really, really good one and, uh, and, and actually explain why, what, what Cas means off of that. There you go. Okay, so okay, so I like that one though. That's really good. I was like <laughs> trying to think of going. Okay, what can it mean? Well then, well then people get pissed off now. Well, that just it doesn't mean anything. They just made it up. Yeah, who the fuck just randomly picks K A S B H as letters? I mean, we're not throwing darts at shit. <laughs> well, seriously, maybe we're drunk know. and playing a game one night. <laughs> it's wherever the dice it, land. It could be. Okay, so know. so the. Here's the thing. There's a reason why we haven't told people what it is before. Right? Okay. So, we, I mean, I'll tell you the reason why we haven't before. Look, if you get as... Remember, as I introduced myself tonight, the dick with arms, I am the master of creating haters, right? We get more fucking hate what? mail. and I get more hate mail and haters in any given day running a Facebook page. It's really weird how that works. Uh, so just out of... Literally out of like... So that... So that... the, the uh, to, to protect the innocent, so to speak. That's what it was. To protect the innocent... For a long time, we we wouldn't tell people what it means, and you'd have to really get to know us uh, to 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 know that kinky ass sex both holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that works. We're gonna be saving all these. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it is. And here's what's really funny. You know what? With this show, save this show really good sound guy, because in like a year we'll be able to replay it because the questions will remain again and no one will actually remember or believe. What's going on? So we for years we've taken a ton to protect the to protect the innocent from from what what it really means, right? So the key to the, I don't know if it's really that we were just well dumb. when when we first started this it was like we did this was not the plan of attack when we started swinging like seven eight years ago no at no point in time to go you know what I think we should take the chance have sex with other people and then try to build it into this. Conglomerated. This world. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Some people call it a dream. Some people call it a nightmare. It just varies. Uh, world. So you know, it that, varies from day to day. I mean, I don't. I don't know. We might have picked something different if we didn't know if that had been the plan. We'd, we we would been something like more like catchy or. Well, there are so many people when you see their profiles on websites that they come up with this really long thought out. <laughs> Wow. Brilliant little names. It's like, oh, how come I didn't come up with that? Yeah, and we why picked, didn't we even think of that? We picked shit that ninety percent of the people. We picked something that we could remember, just like a freaking password. Well, and here's the other thing: we picked, yeah, we picked something. <laughs> we picked something that little did we know that ninety percent of the people couldn't fucking say correctly. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god, I'm telling you what: on any given day, we've been we've been uh, 
uh, kibosh, uh, we've been uh, kibashi, we've been, uh, oh my God. Kazbah. Uh, Kazbah. I mean, the, the shit that people can, it's like, look, phonetics, kids. Phonetics, <laughs> sound it fucking out. I think that, and you'll, you'll tell people what it is, and then like 10 minutes later, they're like, Kabosh, yeah, 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 yeah. You should be part of Kabosh. People are like, what's part of Kabosh? And you're going, you're part of Kazbah already, and they don't even know because it's so far off of what it's actually, what it's actually called. There's times people say, they hey, try. aren't you, aren't you, uh, don't you have that website page? And they'll they'll murder it so badly, I don't even know what website page they're talking about. I'm like, at least they got no, the crazy right. <laughs> no, no, we're part of we're part of crazy Kazbah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said, Kazbah. No, that's not what you said. Not even fucking close. So, okay, so if we had have thought it through, we'd have thought of something better back then. So, like, yeah, you know. we would have come up with some cutesy <laughs> thing. No, we wouldn't. Have. Well, you would have. I wouldn't have. I'm not good with that shit. I don't know. You come up with better shit than I do. Okay. Yeah, well, you do. I, kinky ass sex both holes. That would apply more to you than me. <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> these, names, these names are more for you. <laughs> well, you don't want to lay ownership to that? No, I was going to say, well, guys have more than one hole, too. Um, your mouth and your ass. Now, do you take it there? No. But still, some yeah, guys do. Some guys do. Absolutely. And kudos to them. Uh, we'll have a whole show on that later. Uh, so anyway, so we started We started off, and we, and we made it easy so we could remember it, and it, we didn't know that it was going to be such a, a, a sticking point and such a big deal. Because it was part of an email that we had. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was we wanted to remember it. How else were we going to remember it when we forgot that we had this page? And when, well, when we tried to log into places, what are we going to use? We got to do something easy so we can remember. So we just did that. Mm -hmm. So okay, so do do we keep them? Do we keep them in suspense? Do we keep them waiting? Or do we just let them unleash? Do you want? Do you want to tell them? Go for it. You're keep babbling. <laughs> That's because what I do. Keep it all actually sex means... between humans. <laughs> Actually, that's an excellent one. I really like that one. Uh, hopefully, we shouldn't have to say that as a general rule, but yes. I know. So you're not even going to tell him? Kiss that ass suck. Well. Oh, Lord. No, Bobby. That's gross. Jesus, dude. Nah, don't do that part. But okay. <laughs> now we're getting into kinks. See, this shit gets weird. This is why we can't leave it up to other people to just come up with it. Uh, keep it in suspense. Uh, you know, we're going to keep it in suspense. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to move on to another topic now, but everybody that's listening right now, Keep sending your suggestions into us right now. What you think Casba stands for? I think maybe <laughs> the Friday night of Crazy Winter Nights when we have our live podcast. Maybe we let people. You think we announce it then? It's really not that big a deal. It's but... not to us, but to everybody else, it's like it's like drives people fucking batty. Yeah. If you want, you want to wait and make that announcement. Then? They can keep guessing, so we have some good stuff that we can. Uh... <laughs> we can decide if we want to change it. Cock tease? Who's a cock tease? Know, yeah. <laughs> We're cock teases because we. We know that he pointed to you. And he went like this. Oh, well, so. I'm not. I'm not teasing. I'm not. Uh, I'm not teasing anybody's cock. Not doing it. I mean, not on, not on purpose. I try not to tease. And I just leave. Flip, flip, one picture. Uh, okay. Okay. So maybe we tell him then. All right. We'll tell you. So there we'll you tell go. Live. We'll tell. We will tell it live. Next week, you'll have to be at Crazy Winter Nights if you want to hear it live, otherwise it'll be recorded. Keep in mind to hear, find out exactly what Casma means. In the meantime, continue to send us Casma stuff. Yeah. Or Casma meetings so we so can, we can, can have a new meeting for so it. So now, you know what's going to be really funny? <laughs> when we announce it, no one's going to believe it. They're not going to go, no way, they just made that up without somebody suggested that. Yeah, pretty much. Well, the thing is, is that maybe we have Todd come up on the stage. <laughs> Yeah, and, and have him actually announce. It. No, because he'll fucking no. I mean, because, because everybody been... thinks it stands for bone. Yeah, yeah, and he's been so. more than he's been more than telling people that. He says he gets a lot of play off of that. I told him to get some little little loving. Hey, all right, we get you sex. Rock on. <laughs> as long as it works for somebody. <laughs> uh, just, just, just saying. <clears throat> all right. Ooh, how was that? Yeah. Right, Yuck. So, hold on. Nicodine. <coughs> mm, okay, so shall we move on to some questions? You lost a little. What? I lost a ball. Foamy thing. Oh, there's no. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh lord, all this technical shit. All right, so let's move on to some questions. Just don't shall spit we? down your neck. <laughs> okay, just this one, so we know slobber down. Right. Okay, so uh, we did actually get a question. Believe it or not, we got one from Montana. 
Montana. Uh-huh, we got one from Montana. All righty. Uh, and the person actually wanted us to not use their name. <gasps> okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so the question was, how do you get your significant other excited to be involved in the lifestyle and more excited to play? So, now, my understanding with this a little bit more was that... Uh, it, they're in the lifestyle, but they are a little more hesitant, a little more picky, a little more, uh, yeah. And and how do you get them more excited and get them to play more? And I thought that was a hell of a question because that's a question I think a lot of couples deal with. Why well, you Everybody should be does. a fucking glare. You guys like this a side look at me like, like like I'm pulling some weird shit out of my ass here. I'll give you a glare. <laughs> There's something new. Door, divorce paper's coming. <laughs> Just staying. Uh, so, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe so. You you tell me. You, I mean, when you... What? Resting, Resting bitch, bitch face. face. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's a really good question because I think it happens a lot with couples. I think it happens because I think one half of a couple can be have a higher sex drive. I think one half of a couple can be more excited or one half of a couple maybe currently has more options. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons why it can happen, mm -hmm. right? So how do you how do you how do you deal with that? Well, you should be picky. Well, <laughs> for one, it depends. I uh, mean, that, that if you're not picky, then well, you're taking one for the team, then, aren't you? Well, no, it depends what what picky is. That's true. There's a look. There, here's the thing. There's a difference between picky and and. Uh, just stopping everything no matter what. Look, I, I promise you, if you want to, you can find a reason for every single person why you can't hook up with them. That's easy to do. That's the easiest thing in the world to fucking do. Well, yeah. Right? So the thing is, is, is it, it, then at that point in time, that's not being picky. That's being defiant a little bit. That's being, you know, well, yeah, scared is an option, you know, whatever concerns with that. There's a difference between being defiant and being picky. A huge fucking difference between the two. Well, for one thing, I don't think you can, what can you say to get the other partner more involved? Y'all should be involved together. Well, I think what, right, you're exactly right. But I think what it comes down to, it's more about communication. Mm -hmm. yeah, here's the thing, you have to find out what the underlying problem is. Okay. That, that's where it comes out is, okay, is the underlying problem that you felt like or that, that one partner felt like they had taken some from the te for the team recently or like the last couple or was it they had bad experiences? You know, mm -hmm. we've talked about that. We ran through the, the run of run of uh, where you had guys that couldn't get it up. And so it made it pretty sour to try to to want to hook up because uh, we're going to do this again or a couple times where we ran through like where – I couldn't get it up, or it wasn't Everybody a good runs through, you know, there was, what, one time there was probably, oh, like six weeks in a row of, well, not six weeks, but six times in a row right. of a guy not being able to get an erection. That really can play a mind game. It can play a mind game. And so, that, so then it becomes a thing of, is that, ultimately what you have to figure out, first and foremost, is what's causing it. Because you most likely didn't get in the lifestyle with one partner feeling that way, mm -hmm. right? So you, so what? The first thing you got to do is figure out what the, what the hell has all of a sudden changed to flip that switch. Mm -hmm. Once you figure that out, okay, then you can start to tackle that issue and approach that issue. So, a couple of things are: hey, number one, if you're the partner that's go get them gun ho, woo woo, fuck 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 fuck, okay, <laughs> then you then you maybe need to take and you need to take and reevaluate, you know, are you looking at it from both avenues if you're playing as, as, as a couple, mm -hmm. you know, or are you, are you pushing too hard? Are you trying too hard? You know, or have you totally like, has, has your dick or your pussy taken complete control of your mind and you forget everything else? You have to look at that. Mm -hmm. The other thing you have to look at though is if the other partner is being unrealistic, okay, because it does happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you have a couple of options. Option number one is, yeah. Is playing together still the, is is that still the right option? I mean yeah. that that's a very real conversation that comes up in the whole thing. Yeah, you have to evaluate it. You have to be damn careful if you go, yep, that's the situation. Because here's the deal: whatever feelings that they have, that are issues as a couple, will not go away if they start playing alone. No, because the reality of it is, you're still going to sit there and go, 
the one that's not playing much going, well, they still fuck this time, this time, this time, this time, this time, this time. So you have to be, you know, to just jump to playing alone, that's a pretty dangerous game. You got to have some serious communication before you move to that, to, to that as the, the ultimate solution. Mm-hmm. That can d- directly and quickly lead to leaving the lifestyle altogether. Yeah. Okay. Or, or, or m- causing more issues or down the road. Much more serious issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other thing, it's just about communication. You just have to talk. The only there's no quick answers to anything in the lifestyle other than talking. Mm-hmm. And and but once you figure it out, now if someone is just going to continue to be defiant, okay, then you got to determine whether or not the lifestyle is right for you overall. Okay, and and the, the thing is, is that it does happen. We see it all the time. We hear about it all the time. It absolutely does happen. Mm-hmm. And if you're the one that's being defiant, you need to figure out why. Okay, you need to communicate that to your other half uh, as well. So it's not just one-sided situation. You need to, to figure that out a little bit. And look, the one thing, yes, I fully believe in being picky. Uh, I fully uh, agree with being you know, selective. And I also fully agree with, with not purposely taking one for the team. I also fully understand and, and fucking have come to the realization of, here's the deal, you're not going to find your soulmate. You're not so in theory, you in well, theory, you are already with your soulmate. Unless you're single, unless you're single, if you're unless you're single, you're not going to find your soulmate. So by the same token, I mean keep it in mind for what it is. I, we say this all the time because we believe it. It's sport fucking. So keep that in mind all the time, you know, and and think it through a little bit. I guess I would say this to people when it comes to picky people. Okay, if you can prove to me you're just as picky sober as you are drunk. Then you're picky. No, I'm dead serious because this. Here's the deal, it's bullshit. Ninety nine percent of the time when people start talking about, I'm picky. I'm picky. Uh huh. I'll tell you what. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit down. I'm gonna put fucking ten shots out there, and we're gonna go shot for shot. And I'm gonna bring ten people in, guys or girls, doesn't matter, mm-hmm. with each shot. And you're gonna tell me yay or nay, yay or nay, yay or nay. I promise you, by the end of the tenth shot. A, if you're still standing, I will be. But if you're still standing, uh, the number of people that you're going, nope, 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 nope on, will drastically change to, well, fuck yeah, oh, hell yeah. By shot five, it will change to, well, maybe. Well, if they're nice, to whatever. Pickiness, true pickiness, you're picky drunk or sober. Mm -hmm. That's pickiness. Yeah. If you're not biggie when you're drunk, well, then that's just horniness, and you're just being you're just being obtuse. If you watch the Shawshank Redemption, that's right. I'm saying that. I don't fucking care. Uh, if you watch Shawshank Redemption, that'll get you in the hole for 60 days. Just saying. Okay, <laughs> so there you go. I hope that actually helps. He had a very this this individual had a very serious question about that because it's something that they're they're working on. Well, it's going to take a lot of working and a lot of talking to get through something like that. Cause well, and, and that's the other thing. It, there one, is no quick fix. That it, one person can think their significant other is the picky one when actually it's probably, you know, they both need to compromise. Because when it comes to finding couples, it's hard to find one that you're both attracted to both. Well, yeah, absolutely. And, and here's the reality of it. Guys, I'm going to say this to you, dead honest. And this goes for women as well. 26 years. I have a better chance of winning the lottery than picking out of a lineup of guys which one that she would be interested in. God's honest truth. You can't do it. I I can't. I'm like, okay, this would be the type of guy she'd be interested in. I'd be like, hey, how about him? And she's like, what? Are you serious? Oh. And then then she's like, but this guy. And I'm going... It's a guy we sure you're like, there's no fucking way you'd fuck that dude. And you're like, hey, baby. I'm like, well, okay. what the hell? So maybe it depends on your mood. Some days you want somebody that's completely opposite of you. Some days I'm looking for a geek. Some days I'm looking for a stud. I can't even go off of body types because I'll be like, no. that dude's ripped. And you're like, he's too muscly. I'm, I'm, I'm a straight dude. I don't dude. know if I've ever said he's too yes, muscly. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. I'm a straight dude. And I'm like, well, I, I, you know, if I was a chick, I'd do him. You know, <laughs> you know I'm like, really? Yeah, I mean... But there's some really muscular guys that are just. Mm. <laughs> there are, and then there's and then, and then there's a curiosity. But there is back. one that is just a little too much for me. Well, yeah. No, 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 look, the dude, plus then you think, what does a muscular guy want with a fat girl like me? Really? 
Uh-huh. I, this, okay, this is the other part. That oh, goes I got a glare. Here we it's fucking seriously, go. Seriously, it's a mic. No, game. no. Here we fucking go. This is the shit. We're gonna go out here. Okay, for all of you listening on Casba right now on 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 Casba, our website. Please, please, please. I have spent I don't know how many years going. You're hot. People want to fuck you. You're hot. But because she doesn't get random dick pics, because people don't send them to her, because they follow the rules, and we appreciate that. <laughs> uh, fucking send her dick pics, would you? Okay? I know. Yeah. You hate that shit. I don't this, care. This is, you send her dick pics because she does not believe it for me. I do wedding ceremonies on the side. It is not required for me to tell you you're hot. But every girl, every girl believes they are fat, they're ugly, and nobody wants them. Every guy is sitting there pulling one off to them. The fact that guys are afraid or, or whatever to go up and talk to them, okay, that does not mean you're unfuckable, okay, or you're unwanted. Now, and because here's what's really funny. You will rip me for the same thing. I am 200 and 85 pounds of pure <laughs> sexy love, okay, and I have the same body issues, and you go, oh, no, people, chicks always see you. They want you. Really? Really? How many fucking fat guy calendars do you see? Hey, hey, guess what? I'm calling you up, and uh, we want to, you know, the... Uh, Tub of goo edition, and we're hoping you'd be the cover boy for that there, fatty. I mean, you don't have that. And no, I'm not body shaming, because I'm that way, so I can say no, it. No, it's your flipping personality. Oh, my flipping. That's why half the people say I'm a dick with arms. Well, that's guys, because they're jealous. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the, the reality of it is, is that guys send fucking confirmation. I'm telling you, the reality of it is this. Every single woman, look, look now, uh, how many girls do you uh, Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, but yes, granted. And every body type is beautiful and there's somebody for everybody. But get here's the deal. You know what? I'm sorry. You're not going in I have to go into this the section. Look, we were just out looking at suit coats tonight, right? Did we go look at suit coats tonight? Yeah. And were there some really badass ones? And mm-hmm. what size do they stop at? Forty eight tiny. Here's the deal. Okay, guess what? I can't find cool clothes for fucking 54 inch chest even when i was skinny i had a 52 inch chest i can't find people cool clothes like that it's harder to find shit like that and you got to pay way more you got to get shit custom made look everybody's beautiful but how about just believing that you're beautiful yourself i'm gonna get you dick pics all over the place so you know the the thing is is that uh (laughs) now i gotta get this Uh, you know well there we go okay so when we got we've got people we've got people the bigger you are, the what? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, stop that. Uh, okay. And, Have you and, not seen some of the girls on our page and how big their boobs are? And it is hot and it's sexy as hell. Now here's the thing: we've got a couple. Uh, Liam, people who know we know what I look like. Prefer the curvy girls. That's right. You are a curvy girl, okay? And curves are fucking sexy. You want to know? You want to know why curves are sexy? Why? Seriously, sound guy, you might not want to listen to this at your own counseling session. <laughs> here's why it's curvy. Because you know what? <laughs> there is nothing fucking hotter. Nothing, nothing on God's green earth sexier than a fucking a curvy girl from behind, because with the way with the hourglass figure, it automates. It's building. It's like handprints here, it shows exactly where you grab them by the hips, and that is fucking hot and sexy as fuck. Now, there's nothing hotter than fucking skinny girls. There's nothing hotter than than plus size girls. Every girl has. Has fucking sexy features and sexy, sexy fucking uh, things on there. Exactly, the curves are evolutionary. Fucking, that's we 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 evolved that way. Every girl is sexy. There's somebody for everybody. But you want to know what will stop it more than anything else is when 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 a guy finally gets balls enough. Okay, and I don't give a fuck if you look like fucking like. You're just a ripped fucking sex Fabio in the 80s. I don't give a fuck. When you finally get balls enough to walk up to a chick and she doesn't know how to take a fucking compliment, that will crush a guy's ego. Because you hear, oh, I, 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 I just don't have self-esteem with myself. What we hear is, we're not good enough. And it sucks. It's like, you know what? Oh my God. Every fucking girl on this page, on, on our page, and that we've seen in the lifestyle, has people that want them, that want them. There's a reason guys on our page, bitch, will not put their posts out there because they, they're not going to get the same type of responses, right? We know that. Uh, but, oh, my God, girls, 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 you're all hot. Guys want to fuck you. It is what it is. 
our divining rod is made. It searches out vagina. Ding, 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 ding. Doo, 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 doo. It is what we do. All right, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> we're coming back to this because you're going to acknowledge this place is over, sexy girl. Smile. Smile and show me your eyes. <laughs> non button. Okay. Okay, now, now try to do it where you don't look like it. For those of you just listening to our podcast, that was the most batshit crazy look I've ever seen in 26 years. Show your pretty eyes. I oh, like yeah, my yeah, eyes. Yeah, we got time. I, I like my eyes. They're pretty. They are, and they go with your pretty ass and pretty everything else. Okay, the way it works. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Do you want to do the break this time? No, you go ahead. You're on a roll. <sighs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> Give us one moment for a second after break. Do you want to go to the hottest, <laughs> the hottest hotel takeover party in the Midwest? Do you want to be seen where all the cool kids are? <laughs> Have you ever been to a hotel takeover party? 600 plus people, vendor fair, speed meet and greet, a live DJ, a live band playing at the same time, then you need to come to Crazy Winter Nights. That's right. It's our once a year party. The second annual Crazy Winter Nights uh, will be held January 18th and 19th. That's right, kids. This has turned into a two-day monster affair. If you'd like more information on how you two can come to the hottest Midwest hotel takeover party of the year, contact us at crazy, K-R-A-Z-Y dot Kasba, K-A-S-B-H, at gmail.com and get on the list today. You can also find us on SLS Radio, on Swingtowns, dot com uh as well as swing village to get registered all right and we are back uh okay so now following up we're gonna keep going with this uh we had nancy made a great comment on what we were just talking about and she says that guys then guys need to come up and talk to us more if they really want to have sex with us and feel that way okay now here's the thing from a guy's period yes they should but i'm going to tell you a little story okay Okay, this is a story. This is this is a personal story. Get out your Kleenexes. It's it's kind of like a, it's like a Hallmark moment. Yeah, mark it down. Yeah, I don't know what he's gonna tell yet. Okay, so I can vividly remember I was a freshman in high school. Oh God! My my brother was a senior, and of course, him and his buddies were all going to homecoming, right? And there was this really hot girl that was also a freshman that I wanted to go to homecoming with. Now, mind you, in high school, I wasn't the the beacon of cool that you see today. I, I know that's weird. No, no you're not showing the basketball <laughs> picture. You fuck <laughs> Anyways, uh, and all my brother and all of his friends were like, dude, just go ask her, just go ask her. Now, here's the thing. She was hot, so guess who else would ask her? Seniors. <laughs> okay. So I walked up and I said, hey, would you like to go with my hair all skewed because I was like fucking moronic and didn't know I'd comb my hair yet. And fucking, you know, all typical freshman in high school, like, like uber fucking dorkorama. Uh, and said, hey, would you like to go to homecoming? And she laughed in my face. Now, she denies that her and I are best friends to this, uh, to this day. We've been friends for, for years. She denies it, but she giggles because she knows it's true. She uh, I did not do that. Yes, you did. She, she was pretty darn serious when she says she doesn't remember. That's because it's it. not her personality, and she would never do that kind of shit now, and she would fucking kill her, her kids if they ever did something like that. True. But back then, she did. Uh, now, so I'm 46 years old. I graduated from high school almost 30 years ago. Uh, so that tells you how long ago, <laughs> how long ago that, that was. Anywho, and that stuck with me. Now, I promise you every single guy out there, what is that for? You want me to hit her with it? What are you doing? You want me to use it? Put it in front of you because you keep turning your head. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. It doesn't have the pop filter on it. I take that fucking thing. Okay, so the thing is, is that 30 years later, or plus, I still remember that. I promise you, every single guy has that story. Every single guy has that time that it happened to them that they went up and they asked a girl out and it went horribly wrong. And every time, no matter how old you are, when you go up to a girl and you ask her, even as swingers, we're here to fuck. This is what we do, sport fucking. And you go up and you start to try to hit on a girl, unless you're just a complete cheese dick moron, that moment kicks back into your head. Well, see, I did that. I asked a guy out when I first moved to Nebraska. Okay. Okay. So I was 18 when I moved to Nebraska. Okay. So, I, okay, I might have been 19. I don't know. <laughs> but I worked at this place, and I asked this guy. I said, and he was younger than me. Imagine that, because I just kind of went for the younger guys. <laughs> I don't know what it Cradle is. Cradle robber. I don't know. And I'm just kind of like, would you like to, to go out on a date? 
And he goes, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <sighs> I was crushed. I never again talked to another guy until you. You talked to another guy because you had sex with other guys before me. That's true. But you know, no, but I I didn't you, ask you never asked another guy out. Mm -mm. So, so the thing is, is okay. It can happen to either either side. Remember that. Look, here's the thing: all swingers and lifestyle people are is where like people that have been out of the dating scene for like twenty plus years, trying to figure out how to how to date again. Yeah, how to do it. I all mean, over. really, the, the reality is, we're, it's not something we do every day, so we don't know. So yes, the guys should come up and talk to them, but. Just as much as guys should fucking man up in a non-creeper fucking, hey, baby, <laughs> Herb Tarlick sort of way, come up and talk to chicks, chicks need to learn how to take a fucking compliment. Here is how you take a compliment, okay? And there is only one way to correctly take a compliment. I yeah. feel like I've had this lecture before. Yeah, that's right, because that's what I do. Cole's lectures, thank you. Uh, real simple, there's only one way to take a compliment. If someone walks up and says, you, you look lovely today, you have a nice ass, I like your tits. You have a lovely smile. Why? That's a lovely dress you have on. Insert nice words here. The only thing, the only correct way to deal with that is to say, oh, well, thank you. That's really sweet. I that's do that it. To other people. Anything other than that is wrong. There is no other way. Now, for guys, it's the same fucking thing. Yeah, you know, practice in a mirror. Uh, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same fucking. Shall we practice? Why? My, you look lovely today, Miss Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> okay, see, and there we go. We need to say it with conviction like you actually fucking believe it and mean it. Okay? Guys. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, no, I didn't say become fucking Lipton tea there with the sugar dripping off of it. Just be you. And guys, it's the same Wait, fucking thing. Product name. There we Jackass. go. Fuck yeah, I did. And it's the same thing with guys. Here's the deal. Hey, guys, when a chick walks up and says something, or a woman, not a chick, we right type of show. When it, when a woman, a strong, independent woman, walks up and says something nice to you, okay, the correct answer is not, so you want to fuck? It's not, oh, I want to see my dick. No, it's, oh, thank you. That's really nice. And then you start talking like normal fucking human beings. This is not fucking rocket science. Now, I'm going to throw another little pointer out here right now. Go ahead. No, 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 no. No, this one, you're going to laugh when I throw this one out oh, here. Oh, great. Uh, okay, so... Most everybody knows that we're like the longest one night stand. Yes, we are. So I, I guess I was pretty easy. But what? Got, you can, you, <laughs> what got me to talk to you? Uh, tight jeans that showed my bulge. No, I don't know what. No, what? What did? Because I looked lonely and pathetic. Because you asked me to dance, uh, jackass. <laughs> You're, but I did. For remembering that. I did. Well, I remember that, but I remember the fucking two hours it took you to eat that Cheeto. <laughs> As you stood there and made me sweat whether or not you were going to say yes. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. I, I fucked you. You did. And I came back. Mm -hmm. Caused my parents to accuse me of doing drugs the next day because they picked me up and I had slept all night. And claw marks all over my body. Mm -hmm. I ain't leaving claw marks. Uh, something. I ain't going there. Anyways, it didn't help when my friend came bursting into the room. When my friend came bursting in the room, when my mom and dad were like, dude, what happened to you? Oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Snodgrass. I got to go. And then shot out of the room. And I'm like, yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay, here, so here's the thing. Uh, and people are talking about conversation right now on our page, and they're exactly right. Conversation, conversation, conversation. I'm going to throw another thing out here, okay? This is for anybody. This is for anybody that is... Uh, if you are talking to somebody that you think that they have a, that they're a triad or a form of a triad. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put this out here. This is, this is, should be the biggest common sense, pull your head out of your fucking ass thing in the world. But since it's not, I'm going to share and, and enlighten people. If you're a chick and it's two dudes with a chick, whatever. And I, I don't care what the breakdown is. Here's the deal. It's not a package deal. It's not a fucking package deal, okay? So when you want to try to hook up with, let's just say the triad is uh, a guy and two girls, and you want to hook up with, you'd love to hook up with both the girls, but you're really trying to hook up with one first, to throw out stupid comments like, well, yeah, well, once you get both guys come along at the same time, it is not a package fucking deal. And what happens is, 
when that happens, that takes in a turn. It pisses off one, the girl that you were originally talking to, because now all of a sudden it raises doubts as to whether or not did you really want her or did you were you just trying to get the other girl or were you just trying to get both girls? And it pisses off the 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 guy in the triad because it's like, dude, that's just not cool. That's not how this works. Now I understand that people say shit because they're moronic and because they get nervous. Nervous. Jojo the circus monkey. Well, what do you do? What do I say? Don't say that. That's new, that's number one rule. And that's been a new experience that we've got to live recently. And it's like, here's the deal. You will not score points when you sit there and you try to go for the trifecta. I, I understand buying lottery tickets with the, with the power play, hoping to win more. Don't. It's not a good way to win. You want to add on that one? <laughs> You're just looking to be like, you can kick my ass right now. <laughs> he obviously thinks I need to talk. <laughs> What's there to say? Am I wrong? Ish? Mm, for the past year, it's been approached quite a bit. Right. But, but, but do you feel do you feel like that, that is a wrong statement, that, that people shouldn't do that? Well, no, they shouldn't. It, 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 I don't know that it's... We get when it's just people make nervous conversation. Mm-hmm. And we get that it's a joke. And yes, obviously that, sure. But words can hurt, mm-hmm. you know, really. And that's one of the things we're talking about this in, in the lifestyle. Like how I, I you know, I have some man about accepting a compliment, right? Which she does. Uh, and we have each other a lot about this kind of stuff. But, uh, but when you're having a conversation, when you're talking to somebody else, remember, yes, it may be sport fucking. I get that. And that's totally okay. But what you say and how you say it goes a long goes a long way. And the thing is, is that you know you cannot take and and crack a joke like that. Maybe it'll be received as a joke. Maybe it won't. Mm-hmm. And I can promise you this: if it's not received as a joke, uh, yeah, that's not a really that's not a really good. Uh, uh, a really good way to good way to roll. You want to make sure that it's it's perceived accordingly. And with all the fun stuff with social media, we all know what did you learn when you first got email at your job? For those of us that are older that remember that, or for young people, what do they teach you in your email class? Remember, you can't take and uh, interpret emotions or hear inflection in an email. Yeah, no. So you might keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> So we're we're sitting here right now. We're reading we're reading through the conversation of what people are saying are good conversations on our Facebook live page, and uh, uh, this is uh, this is kind of funny funny shit here. Uh, oh my god! Look at people. This is one all the way down to feet and toes and all kinds of crap. Are you following all this shit? Ish. Ish. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> this is why we look. This is why we're so excited to do this. Uh, at a live a live studio audience when this kind of stuff's going on, uh, you know, little, <laughs> they're talking about everything from from uh, d- toes aren't hot. How the fuck did we get there? I skipped some stuff all the way through. Because they're talking about wearing socks and shit. I mean, it got into a, just oh, okay. a totally so, yeah. different conversation. Yeah, it's totally went off to a total. This is why we do this stuff live. Uh, yeah, there, there's one for you. There, there's something we hear about this all the time. Uh, stuff like. Uh, uh, what is the appropriate things to wear to bed and not to wear to bed? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, and I know Nancy. I know you're listening, so you're going to jump in all over on this one. You're going to jump in all over on this one, but it's going to be it's going to be uh, I do. socks. That's that's I think that's the number one thing. Yes, we are going to be doing some live streaming from Crazy Winter Nights when on we do, Friday. On Friday, we will go live Saturday at one point in time when we do the award on Saturday. We will do live. We'll go. Night. Yeah, we'll go live. We'll go live a couple times. It's not stuff. podcast, so we'll go live no. on Facebook. Yeah, but we'll we are going to do a live podcast Friday night at the meet, at the pre-party. Party. Yep, that's correct. Uh okay, so <laughs> so cuz socks keep coming up. Good god. All right, so Nancy, what are some appropriate things to wear to bed and not to wear to bed? When you're hooking up with Are people. you talking to Nancy? Or you talking I'm talking to, me? to you. I'm because talking to you. Because you said I know. Nancy's name and then you I, looked well, at me. I know because I want Nancy to. I know we're the same height and everything, but my gosh. <laughs> I, want Na- I want to make sure Nancy's listening. But I, I want to know your, your opinion. <laughs> well, most of the time it's just usually a t shirt and nothing else. Right. No, but when you hook up. Oh, when you hook up? Okay. Well, I. I well. You, usually you're butt ass naked. Yeah, usually. usually Do I wear socks? No. No. Have I? 
I don't. Uh, I could have if my feet were really cold. Well, there was one time we had shoes on. There was one time when one couple that we hooked up with, she goes, "My feet are cold. I'm keeping my socks on." Yes, yes, that that's right. That is right. Yeah, as 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 a, as a general rule. You had someone you had sex with say, I'm leaving my shirt on. And you yeah, went, and I'm like, okay. that's cool. That was all right. Yeah. And, and and here's the thing is. Most of the time when you have sex with me, I have my shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, when we're at home, you know, we, it's like porn sex versus real sex. You know, we, mm. you know, we, yeah. It's real. But I still don't keep my socks on. Although there's times you probably wish I would. <laughs> Man, we keep the hotel room dark to have nasty feet. Man, I'm just waiting for the first chick uh, to, <laughs> if your feet are warm. What? Rumors you have better orgasms if your feet are warm? I don't care. Take your socks off. Uh, the thing is, is if, if we were Well, get, once you get going, you should be pretty warm anyway. Yeah, hopefully, if you're doing it right. All I can say is this. If, we, if I ever find a girl that's like surprises me when we get back to the hotel, it's like, I'm all into feet. I, I'm going to let it go. I ain't saying shit. But it's going to be funny because you're going to want to turn on the video camera because I got some nasty feet. So if you're a toe sucker, I wouldn't suck my toes. There dogs. are times I tell them to leave a socks on. <laughs> yeah, she's like, keep those nasty things. They're clean and stuff. Don't get anybody get anything wrong. But, I mean, they're no, just. No, his toenails oh, all. It, what? And gnarly. It's like my feet have been through a war of their own. So the joy of cowboy boots. Do many years Your feet on. are really dry. Yeah, they are. So what you're saying is I have scaly feet. So uh, here's the thing. If you're a toe licker, you might not want to get on with You have flat feet, so they're not like the most attractive. Do, you, do the eyes count as socks? Uh, well, they could, I suppose. Well, technically they are, <laughs> but they're sexy as fuck, yes. so you leave them on. Exactly. Well, it's like high heels. David Lee Ross said it bad. No, 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 no. Leave them on. Leave them on. Yeah, no. I've you only want had to... sex with high heels on once, and that was with you. Yeah. And they make great heels, and they're fucking sexy. And, you want, I, and I'm going to tell you what. Any guy who tells you that's not on their bucket list, they're a liar. I don't care. I don't care who they are. Every guy wants to do that at one point in time. I, am I wearing thigh highs? No. No, I think she's oh. asking Jeremy okay. if yeah, he was wearing no. thigh highs. I might wear thigh highs. You never fucking know. Well, God knows I've, sold, I've worn other shit. You know? You've put on stockings before and you went, ooh, these feel hey. cool. Hey. They're nice and slick. And and, and and we have proof. We know people. They've seen it. You've seen it. You know, you give me a pair of high heels. That are my size, and I can rock those motherfuckers like a bitch. So I can walk around wearing his high heels. birthday. He was drunk as shit. Drunk as shit. Okay, uh -huh. we were in Iowa, and there was this really tall girl, and she happened to have the same size feet as him. Yeah. So yeah. she let him put them on. Everybody thought I was gonna fall on my ass. So these two other guys, her significant other and this husband, were putting the shoes on. Him. Yep, but on my feet, boring. He gets up, struts across the floor, and then struts back. Doesn't trip. Doesn't stumble. Doesn't, doesn't even wobble. Whip, doesn't even phase me. In nothing. The and we're not talking like we're not talking like two inch heels. No, the, no, no, they were, were like, probably three, four. Right, yeah, they were good size heels. No problem. You give me a pair of stilettos, I'm gonna rock the fuck out of those. Not one wobble, and I'm like. How the uh -huh. fuck did you do that? Because I can't do that sober. Because I wear heels every day with my cowboy boots. So, yeah. No, but cowboy boots are a different kind of heel. And pretty damn sexy. I strut. I strut. Thigh high boots. Yeah, whatever gets the fuck. Whoa, what? Whatever gets yeah, done, Tanya. Whatever gets the fucking job done. Look at now. Look at all the messages you're getting now. Send me pictures of you in boots. Uh, yeah, message me and I'll find them in his size. Wait a minute. Do not message Jeremy with what size thigh highs I need. Thank you very much. No, but can you put a picture on here? Fuck me heels rock on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you can. Well, you got it on your phone. You can. No, those are stickers. Yeah. Um, um, okay, so guy, Okay, so Nancy, guys, I'm talking, talking about men and socks. So <laughs> Nancy's back on. You do not like socks left on in bed. I will share... The picture I have of him in the shoes. Cause yeah, that's hilarious. Cool. I don't, I don't he doesn't care. No, I don't fucking face me. Because he rocked yeah. it, and most girls can't. <laughs> I've got a second job, just so you all know. I have a stage name, Layla. <laughs> okay, who is the porn star that always wore the blue T-shirt and the white socks? Ron Jeremy? Yeah, Ron Jeremy. Well, and then there's Ed Powers. Of course, he's still in the well, business. Well, I think so that's who I'm thinking do. of. Is yeah. Ed well, they both did. Ed, Ed Powers. Ed Powers always wore white socks. Still does when he does porn. You know, the power plunge. And we used to have porn <laughs> in the dorm, and we'd buy Ed Power ones because they rocked in the, the power plunge. Like, he's going in. He's going in. Grab the chick. Crank her all the way over. 
do three bumps in the in the bus and go straight for the butt. Are they even still punch. doing anything? Yeah, he's, yeah. Ed Powers is still a big producer and still in there. He could, he actually might have a chance to sue us. He might actually listen to this and sue my ass. Or because we we're, we're as, talking about him. Actually, porn? I would love to get him on as a guest. Oh Jesus, uh, dude! I'm telling you what. If I could sit across from Ed Powers and go, man, I spent more nights in college cheering you on with your socks and your hairy white ass. Is that the one that the yes. ball licking was okay? Yep. Okay. She had never sucked dick, but the ball licking was okay. That was that, that poor little yeah. Asian chick. <laughs> well, she got her. She got her. That yeah, it's because they were promising things that were to get them to do it. I'll never forget that either. I'm sure that tape has been since been pulled. Okay, so the general rule is apparently do not wear socks. Okay. I want to find a girl that wants to lick toes because I promise you, once she licks my toes, it will all change. I will enlighten her. <laughs> Not it. Mm, nummy. Not it. <laughs> Would you ever lick a toe? Guy's super hot. You really want to fuck him. You're just like all in the moment. You're not drunk, but you, a little liquid courage, but not drunk. She's just, he's just fucking hotter than shit. I don't touch feet. He's got the right size dick, the whole nine yards. Are you sure? There wouldn't be even just, just like one little lick, and, I don't and like he'll feet. fucking take you to paradise. I don't like feet. Okay, so so what are what are other things? I done? don't touch feet. What well, baby it, feet? Uh, yes, they're cute. They're adorable. <laughs> By the way, if you buy, if you go to the grocery store, we just found out this this today. A totally off topic. <laughs> totally off uh, topic. It's not packs of chicken feet. Uh, it is act. They call them chicken paws. Just so you know, that was actually, yep, that was in the store. I know that was totally off topic. I know, that was at your big retailer that starts with a W. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, I know, but it said pause. It said pause. It said, it's their chicken pause. Just, that's what I have, it's chicken pause. Because it goes, gosh, I didn't know they were pause. I learned shit today. Uh, okay, what uh, what are other things? Like, what are the things you guys listen to that are things like that that you absolutely, not like, I won't do anal or something really deep or anything like that? Okay, I can't what, read that. What, what? What is something else I that you would... I don't know how you cook them. What else is something you would do? Because I've cooked so much chicken feet. Yeah, okay. Back to this show. <laughs> Disregard sound guy. He's now on chicken feet. He's ready for dinner. Everybody's uh, got ADD. No, Woo! yeah. What What is something else that you would not do? Like, you would not... I get it. You are totally out on feet. I don't... I just don't touch feet. I want to know what some other people's things are. Little... Like, the odd things like that. I know one person that if you touch their nipples too much, uh, it'll make them get sick. So you can't play yeah. with the nipples too much. Yeah, what's, what's mine? Yours? I don't have any. I'm a fucking dirty, dirty girl. I don't know. I don't have a it. dirty I, girl. I, 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 I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, look, man. Here's you the thing. You I can't refer to yourself in the female I, sense, but I can't okay. really say there's not a whole lot of things that you know that I'm gonna go. Oh uh, yeah, no, I can't do that. I mean, I might have a hard time like a European girl where the cultural differences are like not shaving, like armpits and hair. That could maybe throw me for a loop. I saw a Facebook video where this chick had um, they combed it and braided I, it. And I know, I know. Me, the armpit thing probably wouldn't throw me off. I'd just keep her arms to her side. The hairy leg thing, I would. I know me. I'd make totally make a Chewbacca joke uh, or something. I'd just totally. Like, I I wouldn't be able to stop myself. It'd be really weird though. She had hairy legs, but her cooter was shaved. And leading up to yeah, the path. Look, there's a clearing in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, land, there's a landing here. So there isn't anything that is just a, a definite no for you or a turn I, off. Uh, I don't know. I mean, she says she, you know, requires me being pegged. No, but I mean, like just something like. I didn't say that you weren't into that. Just that you will not touch or. Uh, I'm, I, not that I can really, not that I can really, really think of. You know, nothing that's just like really stands out that I go, you know, like I know a lot of people have like with, with, uh, with teeth or with, you know, whatever. I, no, not, not really like that. I mean, yes, the obvious if they're not bathed, but that's not what we're talking about, jackass. Uh, you know, I mean. How about as far as clothing? Do you oh, give a that, shit uh, if they have shirt and I, it, to me, no to me okay obviously you, you want to know what you wanna, said something to me years you, ago you know what the bigger thing for me is and What's you know that? you know this but the audience doesn't I'm big on on smell not like do you not take a shower smell duh I'm I'm a scent person yeah you like it. I'm I'm a, I'm a scent person and and if you want to know if you want to know whether or not there's a really good chance I want to fuck you uh, watch how I act around your neck. Because I'm not going to start nibbling it, but I'm going to start sniffing it. 
And and when you see me start taking taking really deep breaths, that means I'm You're really sniffing. I'm really digging it. And I will remember a scent like like fucking bear smelling blood. I, I'm like I'm all over that shit. He and, does, I, and that that is a huge, huge, huge. He'll come up to me and he'll hug me and he'll go. Oh, yeah, and now you know he's sniffing you. That that one perfume that you wear, I I can I can I don't even have to get up. I could have have told you you could have went to work and I wasn't up yet, and I can wake up and I'll wake up and smell that instantly now. So mm. there's been days I went to work wearing your cologne, <laughs> so I smelled you during the day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. isn't that sweet? We sniff each other. We're like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sniffing each other's butts but you know it's the same thing but no that that's a big one so if you have a if, there would be my thing there are some perfumes or body washes or body sprays that like don't don't do it for me or that you know just that's not a turn off it, it, it can or is be there some that you there, just don't. there are some that smell from to me uh like what i'd say like like grammy would wear you know, but it's something that, that makes me... Okay, I can see that. And, and it's not a rip, because here's the thing is, look, you know, their husband, they may smell that and just got fucking rock hard and ready to, you know, drill a hole fucking with their dick. So, you know, everybody's preference is different, but there are just some that, you know, there are certain... Obviously, yours is always the strong. Anytime any other woman wears the same kind as you, I can smell that fucking across a bar. I'm just like... And I'm I'm like fucking two cans in. Follow your nose, and I'm just like drifting across. You know, I, it's like the cartoon thing where the smell comes dancing in, and then like turns little fingers and like hooks your nose, <laughs> and you float across the floor. That's what happens to me with the with the right type of smell. Okay, you know. But so there are some of those that would would totally totally just turn me you know turn me off. Now because here's the thing: things that smell good like that, when they smell good like that, before you're all hot and sweaty and and um, all uh, you know fucked up. And fuckery uh, smell even better with sex smell. So it, your 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 perfume okay. mixes well with the smell of, of of fucking. It doesn't go away. It doesn't all of a sudden become sour or weird or anything. It's just like it's even hotter yet. Okay. Like cat form on. Okay. <laughs> oh, and okay. Hey, here you go. I've got Nancy. Well, I don't want to wrap up yet. But Nancy <laughs> talking about uh, guys trim your stuff, please. Oh, you know well, this may be have to be the next week's show. Is that we may have to talk about like. Proper grooming, grooming for grooming and stuff like that. Because Nancy you got a good point there. Nobody likes, uh, you know, you know, to floss her teeth with pubes, whatever. I hadn't shaved for a while. Mine got so long I could have fucking put like dreadlocks in them if I wanted to. The younger generation isn't quite the same. Yeah, well, good, good fucking for them. When they get old, they'll understand. You know why? It's not that we mind the pubes. It's just it's harder for us to reach to get them out. Now come out of fake teeth is easy. Anyways, all right. <laughs> All right, so hey, guess what? Uh, this was a show. This would be fun to try to name this one. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I want to take a quick moment here. Uh, we're going to wrap up. I want to thank our sponsors again. Remember, if you're trying to glide but you can't slide, talk to our good friends at Spunk Lube, www.spunklube.com. They will get you hooked up. Uh, and and it's all natural. It's some good stuff. And remember, you always have a friend in Casba because uh, you always have a coupon with us. Put Casba <laughs> in the coupon code. Co- put Casba in the coupon co- code for your ten percent off discount with Spunk Lube. K A S B H. Fuck you all. Uh, and also, the second half of our sponsors. Well, you said a friend in Casba. Well, you know, maybe. Well, then I'd give him a look. He's the one that brought it up. I didn't. <laughs> And don't forget our second half sponsor, Crazy Winter Nights. That's right, kids. The premier hotel takeover uh, form of black tie optional event of the season. It's not a party. It's not just a takeover. It's an event. That's the way we do things. So make sure that you uh, get on the list, find out more information, and become part of the festivities, vendor fairs, speed meet and greets, hotel uh, takeovers. There'll be meet and greets in different suites. There's going to be food. There's going to be live podcasts. Oh, my God. The list just goes on. January 18th and 19th. That'll be January 18th and 19th in Omaha, Nebraska. All right. So, and you can get more information on that or get on the list at crazy, K R A Z Y dot Casba, K A S B H, at gmail.com. All right. So, that's a good wrap up. All right, you're going to want to make sure you go visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. We've got some exciting new features getting ready to roll out, and you're going to want to be a part of those. So go to www.youtube.com backslash C backslash Casbah, K-A-S-B-H. And if you like what you hear, visit our Patreon, www.patreon.com backslash crazy, K-R-A-Z-Y, 
Casba, K A S B H. And you can also follow us on Twitter. That would be at Truth Crazy. You can follow us on Instagram at Crazy, K R A Z Y underscore Casba, K A S B H. Don't forget to sign up on our YouTube or on our Facebook page, which would be Crazy Truth. And you can always send us emails. We love your emails at crazy, K R A Z Y dot Casba, K A S B H at gmail.com. And don't forget, everybody needs some Crazy Truth merch. That's right. We've got merchandise. Go to teespring.com backslash stores backslash crazy, K-R-A-Z-Y hyphen truth. All right. So doing it the only way I know how and the only way I want to should do like staff notes. Casba uh, style out. Bye. <laughs>